Today we're going to be talking about what to know about dress cowboy boots. You know, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. There are some folks out there who don't believe in dress cowboy boots and mainly feel like you can just sort of work in your regular boots and then clean them up and shine them up, go to a wedding, go out on a date in those same exact boots. And you can do that, but only for so long. This is my first boot and I don't think that I could shine this up anymore and clean it up to the point where it actually looks good. I mean, it's all cracked and nasty. Just look at this thing, it's gross, okay? So I don't think I would want to wear this to a wedding or out on a date. Maybe uh, maybe a date to like, uh, if we were going off-roading or something, then yeah, this is the perfect boot for that. There comes a point in every shit kicker's life where you just can't take the shit kicker out to dates and weddings and things like that. So it's always a good idea to have another pair of boots that is a dress boot, especially if you're into cowboy boots. If you're not that into me, just have a pair of shit kickers just to have them, then, then you don't really need a pair of dress boots. But I'm telling you right now, if you like cowboy boots and you're really not a fan of dress shoes, then dress boots are the way to go. There's nothing wrong with a pair of awesome dress boots. The leather and the toe shape is completely up to you, you know? Personally, I think a black boot is a perfect choice for a dress boot. And this was my first dress boot. This is a, another boulet. I had a that boulet that I just showed you and a rubber sole ab abilene. And then I wanted something that I could wear for more sort of dressy occasions, so that's when I got this black boulet here. It did the job very, very well. Like, I didn't wear this in all of the same circumstances that I would wear those other two, um, and I, would, I wouldn't really baby this boot, per se, but I did care for it a little bit more than those other two. And then there came a time in my life when I started to go exotic. The exotic boot is the best kind of dress boot because you can say so much with an exotic boot, I feel like. It's just, it's incredible the amount of badassery that you can obtain from a pair of exotic dress boots, right? This is a Cayman Belly. I really like Cayman Belly for a dress boot because it uh, it's not too aggressive looking, it has a great looking texture, and it shines up really nice too. And this is a French toe. So that's another thing that I think about when looking at dress boots is what kind of toe shape does it have? Personally, I like the R toe and the French toe. The French toe is even called a dress toe by some boot companies. In fact, Boulet, who makes this boot here, they call their French toes dress toes. So right in the name, this is a dress boot with their dress toe, which is what other companies would call a French toe. What about color? You know, like I said, black always works, but also black cherry might be an interesting one to go with for some of you folks who have lots of different kinds of colors that you wanna wear. If it's not just a black suit, black cherry goes with a lot of different things. It can go with browns, it can go with blacks, it can go with um, greens. It can really just work with anything. So if you just wanted a roundabout dress boot that can really go with a lot of different kinds of things, Black Cherry is where it's at. It's a great looking color. When you get a dress boot, here's another tip for all you folks out there who are new to the dress boot world. Don't use a dress boot as a beater, okay? If somebody shows up to your house or, you know, you're, you, you have a you're at a wedding and somebody wants to go off-roading like we talked about before, don't wear your dress boots out there. At least just have an extra pair of boots in the back of your truck or whatever that you can just say, okay, just let's stop because these are my these are my good boots and I don't want to get them all nasty. There's no shame in not wanting to get your good boots all nasty, especially if you carry another pair in your car or in your truck or whatever. So don't use them as beaters because they're dress boots for a reason. These boots I've had for 11 years, almost, I wanna say. And 
it still has the original outsole. So I wore these to all fancy functions forever. And even to uh, some of my jobs early on when they were like business formal. If you invest in a nice dress boot, it's not like you're gonna be resoling them every six months or whatever, because you're not gonna be wearing them that frequently. And because you don't wear them all the time, there's another thing that you kind of got to remember is that you might want to condition them every so often, right? <laughs> I mean, there were times when this boot would just sort of sit for a long time in the box. I still have the original box because that's where I would keep these to keep all the dust off of them and things like that. You still want to condition them on a regular basis at least once or twice a year. These leathers like Cayman and Lizard like I'm wearing right now, they have those weak parts in between tiles or the scales where the leather is the thinnest and Cayman is known for cracking along these lines and so is Lizard. And if that happens, then you are out of luck. The boot is ruined. And that at that point, you're just, you can just use the boot as a beater because it's done. It's done. It doesn't even look good anymore. So you gotta be really, really careful when you get a dress boot, especially when it's Cayman or L Lizard. There's nothing wrong with dress boots. How do you guys feel about dress cowboy boots? I know a lot of you really enjoy them. And once you get into the dress cowboy boot world, it's like, wow, there's so many beautiful boots. And then you can start getting into the crazy colors like the bone colored Tony Llama lizard boots or red boots or, you know, blue ostrich. Governor Brown, I'm looking at you with the blue ostrich. It's nice to have a pair of boots that's dressy. Just like it's nice to have a pair that can get messy. Then whatever happens, you'll be ready. If you got some sh kickers and some that are dressy. Yeah. I love those dress boots. Whether it's just black cowhide boots or some chocolate caiman belly. It's all good. Dress it up. <laughs>